Two Chairs No Waiting, episode number 209, Leroy Mack. Two Chairs No Waiting is brought to you each week by the wonderful folks at Weaver's Department Store. Drop by and give Ben a check out there. Check and see what he's got. He's got all kinds of things, calendars, DVD sets. You're not going to want to miss those. Got, got audio, CDs, got DVDs to watch all kinds of different Episodes of the Andy Griffith Show and Gomer Paul and Matt Lock and everything else. Drop by Weaver's Department Store.com. Two Chairs No Waiting is also brought to you by donations from listeners just like you. The executive producer of 209 is Paul Mulick. Hey, Paul, thank you for your support. Hello, everybody. I'm Alan Newsom, and welcome to the fifth year, the start of the fifth year of Two Chairs No Waiting. Wow, I can't believe it. Uh, already been doing this for four years this is our first episode going into the fifth year of two chairs no waiting unbelievable some of you guys have thought you're way behind and you can never catch up i had people tell me that at mayberry days hey just start listening wherever you start and if you want to go back if something looks interesting you can go back and listen to any of the old episodes if you'd like to but you don't have to as a matter of fact you may not want to listen to this I'm going to play a little bit of this as we go here. This is a clip from episode number one from, well, I guess four years ago uh, this week. It would have been four years ago, and hopefully things have improved a little bit, at least with audio quality. You know, the band's not gotten any better, really, <laughs> as you can hear there, for our music. Hello, and welcome to Two Chairs but There's no Alan. Waiting, episode one. The I excitement he shows. Some, and I want to thank the... Mayberry Marching Band oh. for their wonderful rendition. Of Alan, thank you for the excitement and getting everybody keyed back. up. You know, especially enjoy Floyd and, and whoever it was. It was Andy Gumping in the back back there, but <laughs> it looked really good. Anyway, that was guess. from episode one of Two Chairs No Waiting. If you want to go back and listen to that, you can. You can kind of see the difference. Hopefully, the show's improved a little, and I've gotten a little more comfortable talking to you guys right into your ear if you're listening to this on your headphones. You're hearing me right in your ear, and hopefully I sound a little bit more like I'm really talking to you rather than sounding like I'm reading something. Or so, or so. I wasn't reading. That's the bad part. I was just trying to be very careful about what I said. Anyway, thank you for joining me for this episode, number 209. That was episode one you were hearing a little bit of. Uh, but this one is awesome. This is going to be a great episode because I'm not the main person in this one. We have our roving reporter, Tom Rusk, who puts on the Mayberry at, uh, Comes to Westminster event uh, over in Westminster, South Carolina. Tom is able to, at times, this will be our, his second roving reporter interview he's done, and this one is with Leroy Mack. Now, you know him probably from, uh, or you would know him from the Country Boys, and if you've been to Mayberry Days over the last several years, Leroy has been there. Leroy is a, a blessing. That's all I can say. He is a wonderful man, and I look forward every year to seeing him and visiting with him at Mayberry Days. And Tom was able to talk to him just a few weeks ago, back right before Mayberry Days. So let's just head on into that, because I know you're going to be interested in hearing it. Now, let me, let me play this clip for you. This is from the Country Boys. Now, if you don't remember, the Country Boys were the group on Mayberry on record when, Andy, when they were going to record the, uh, the album. You remember that? And they were over at Floyd's Barbershop. And then some of the guys were able to invest in the uh, record company. Let me play this clip. This is the Country Boys later in the episode here. They're great, Sheriff. I'm glad you like them. It's just the kind of music I was looking for, authentic. And I've got you to thank for it, Sheriff. Uh, yeah. We appreciate you letting us play for you, Mr. Maxwell. Well, thank you. We sure appreciate you letting us buy stock in your recording company, too. <laughs> well, let's hope it works out well for all of us. Ah, so that well, was... thanks again, boys. That'll be all for tonight. That was a See, little boys. later right, in, right, right, right. in the episode when uh, the Country Boys were recording another song for uh, Mr. Maxwell, you know, after they had already recorded with Andy over at the barbershop. Now, Leroy was the one who said this. We sure appreciate you letting us buy stock in your recording company, too. <laughs> well, let's hope it works out well for all of us. That is Leroy's claim to fame. That was him right there. We appreciate it. And uh, so we're going to be hearing from Leroy and Tom. So let's just head on right on into that interview. So, Tom, take it away. Well, here we are in the beautiful mountains of North Carolina at Ridgecrest at Life Lessons from Mayberry. 
2012, and uh, sitting next to me is just a delightful individual who's been part of Mayberry since, gosh, I don't know when. Well, at least 50 years, but part of the Mayberry celebration each year. I'm talking with Leroy McNeese, better known as Leroy Mack. How are you doing, sir? Extremely good, Tom. Uh, good to be with you again, and uh, you're uh, back from California, ready to spend your winter here with us in the South, huh? That's it. That's the plan. We end up down in South Georgia at uh, around Thomasville mm -hmm. and just have a, a great time down there. Well, Leroy and Jan are uh, natives of Southern California and been in uh, playing bluegrass, uh, gosh, close to 50 years, huh? That's right. Yeah, it's every part of 50 years. Yeah. We uh, appreciate that. And uh, Jan even takes a part in it. She's been part of the uh, uh, Bible study here at Ridgecrest, uh, facilitating and teaching, and uh, she also uh, had the honor of being uh, the Pickle Queen several times in Mayberry, and she was part of our Westminster Festival this year as well. That's right. She is the Pickle Queen. She's she's all set for this year's Mayberry as well, so uh, she's, she's on top. Well, she's a sweet lady. Uh, you... Uh, Started out playing bluegrass. Uh, kind of give us a little background on that, uh, Leroy, and uh, growing well, up in Southern I, California. Yeah, Southern California didn't have a lot of bluegrass back in 1958 and 9. But um, a friend of mine, uh, I, I had played music, uh, you know, just around the house and things. But a friend of mine uh, back in those days played a record of uh, Flatt and Scruggs, mm. and it totally changed my life. I'm, I've never been the same since. Be it, huh? Oh, boy, big time. <laughs> So uh, I did uh, find this group that was playing, and I asked them if I could uh, go where they were playing to hear more. And they said, well, we practice every night so you can come to the house. So that was the Country Boys, and that's the group that eventually did the Andy Griffith Show uh, in 1961. Well, tell us how that happened. Uh, were you playing dobro uh, then as well yes. and guitar? i have been with them about two years. And uh, so I was relatively new at all that, but um, we got a we made a little record, and they were playing it on the radio. And understanding is is that Andy heard the record on his way to the studio in the morning, and uh, there was an episode coming up where they needed a bluegrass band to back Andy up, and so uh, their uh, production people called us, and us being a uh, just a little struggling bluegrass band. And the Andy Griffith Show happened to be our favorite show. We're just amazed wow. that they we heard uh, from the Andy Griffith Show, and they said, "Well, we'd like you to come down and audition for the show." <clears throat> so we said, "Well, we think we can fit you into our schedule," which we did, and nothing flat, <laughs> and went down. and And Andy uh, liked us, and we ended up on the show. That was the Mayberry on record, and uh, you noticed you in the barber shop there playing the Dobro. You even uh, had your acting debut, right, with one oh, line. That was, that Tell was us my, about that line. My big one-liner. Uh, uh, the, the kind of the plot of the story was where the the man that came to town was recording folk music, and then the townspeople talked him into letting them invest in the project. Mm -hmm. So uh, later on in the show, my line was. We appreciate you letting us invest in your recording company, uh, which a lot of the town people had done by that time. Right. So anyway, uh, Andy heard me say the line, and he said, "Now, Leroy, in North Carolina, we say we don't say appreciate. We say appreciate. You drop that A off." And so I said, "Okay." So with my best. Southern California, North Carolina <laughs> accent. I delivered the line. We appreciate you letting us invest in your recording company. What an experience. Yeah. And you know what the great thing was? Back in those days, we were poor. We didn't have much money at all. And every time the air showed for six times, we or I received $90 for each time. Wow. And the thing of it was, our house payment was 105 at the time, so it just about covered our <laughs> house payment. Well, that's wonderful. Uh, that was in uh, 61, and uh, it kind of catapulted the country boys into the spotlight, it too. It did. We had uh, a lot of work after that, and uh, it was... and. Even now, I mean, 50 years later, uh, who would have thought, you know, that it's still going and and still able to come out and do events like this oh, and uh, well, that's wonderful. meet the people that love the show so much. Yeah. Well, then uh, Quiet Sam, that came along the same season? That was. That was the same. Uh, it was episode 29 
uh, Mayberry on record is 19. Mm -hmm. uh, but we were more in the background on that one. We didn't have any lines, but it was in the, the kind of the epilogue part of the show where they're having a little party outside and we're playing music. And, and uh, actually one of the members, Roland, the leader of the group, uh, wasn't in that one because he'd been drafted into the army in between oh. that that time and he was gone so he he didn't uh, get to well who would imagine some uh, 50 plus years now 52 years later the popularity and you're kind of like uh the uh, Dillards, uh, they were only in a few episodes, I think a half dozen, but mm -hmm. the, the recognizability people have is just phenomenal. When you came to be with us in Westminster, people realize, oh, he was in those couple of those shows. Mm -hmm. And of course, as soon as you get out the Dobro and play it, which is beautiful, yeah. by the way, we love it so much. Uh, it's it's wonderful, uh, the appreciation the fans have. Yeah. They, they appreciate it, don't they? They do appreciate it. Even here today, we're people were asking me, you know, we played the clip. Uh, last night uh -huh. before I, I performed and and now they're asking me today well the, which one of those were you <laughs> I said, well I was the guy I'm, Andy's on the left and I'm on the far right I'm the guy with the dark hair and a little chubby face oh, so. oh gosh well you've changed some but you you still got a beautiful smile tell us about your CDs you've done some projects and yes. uh, even mention your website go mm -hmm. ahead and do that because folks may want to get sure. some copies and you enjoy bet. that beautiful music uh, my uh, well, I'll tell you the my uh, web page is uh, just Leroy Mac M A C K dot com, and uh, there's some some uh, good old photos on there, and it's a pretty interesting site if I do say so myself, and uh, also a store there where all the uh, albums that are available uh, that they can. Uh, just give me an email and we'll send them right out. Great. Uh, that beautiful Dobro you play, too, is that you have uh, the number 206 on your website. That mm -hmm. signifies that beautiful Dobro, right? Yeah, it's actually a uh, the, the, the model number 206 is from an old Dobro from the 1930s, which the, was the top, top of the Dobro mm -hmm. line. And so uh, Paul Beard, who's just a great uh, Dobro uh, resophonic guitar manufacturer built that one and that is the the Leroy Mac, Mac signature model for the beard do, uh, line wow yeah. well we appreciate you and Jan so very much and uh, you're a big part of Mayberry and uh, good to have you back here in the south for the winter months and folks that are going to be able to get to Mayberry uh, over the next year or so uh, we'll have an opportunity to see you and we hope you can come back to Westminster maybe if time and schedule permits uh, next April and be with us once again That'd be great. We'd love to do it. We had such a great time last year. Thank you. Memories of Mayberry on this podcast with Leroy McNeese. Have a great day, Leroy. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. God bless. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, Leroy is an absolute prince of a fellow. And uh, I want to thank Tom as well for heading out there and uh, doing that interview with Leroy. Thank you so much for Tom, our roving reporter. Here at uh, Two Chairs, No Waiting. Definitely want to thank you for that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I wanted to encourage you to drop by LeroyMac.com and check out the pictures. There's all kinds of pictures there. I was showing uh, some of them on the video. So if you're looking at it, you'll be able to see some of the pictures, uh, you know, the different things with uh, Flat and Scruggs on TV show Nashville in Nashville. And there's, uh, there's just all kinds of things on here uh, with Leroy. And a really neat picture from 1961 of the the country boys with Aunt B. Francis Favier is in the picture. And uh, that's that's really nice. And, again, just check out all the stuff. Plus, they've got, he's got, Leroy's got a store there. And we're going to play some music from Leroy as we head out of here in just a few minutes. Uh, because uh, he was kind enough to allow us to do this. It's a wonderful song that I know you guys are going to enjoy uh, it, it's just, uh, extremely touching. Uh, you know, it's hard to, <laughs> there's a lot of Leroy songs that are extremely touching and I definitely want to encourage you guys to, to look at his music and just appreciate him because Leroy is really, as I, I can't really say enough about him. He really is an awesome, awesome person that I, I just love him. I love him to death. Now, he normally, at Mayberry Days, leads the uh, Sunday morning service after, you know, after Mayberry Days is basically over Sunday morning. They have a meeting down at the amphitheater, and Leroy is a part of that, and Jan, 
And he invites uh, everybody, obviously, to come. And I know one year David Browning spoke at uh, at that particular morning meeting. And so I definitely want to encourage you, if you ever have a chance to do that as well, to drop by and check out Leroy. So, folks, I'd love to hear from you, hear what you think about it, hear what you thought about this interview. I'd love to uh, hear from you. You can call me at 888-684-8415, or you can drop me an email by sending it over to uh, Floyd at imayberry.com, or you can... uh, you can drop by our website over at two chairs, no waiting.com. You can head there. That's a, it's a great website. You can go and listen to all the uh, past episodes over at, at two chairs, no waiting.com. And you can also head over to Facebook to our fan page. So many different ways to stay in touch with me that I want to encourage you again, drop by Leroy's website at Leroy We'll have links to that in the show note. And thank you once again, to uh, our good friend Tom Rusk for doing this wonderful interview. Now, I'm going to leave you tonight. We're going to leave without our normal ending music. We're going to listen to um, Leroy as he sings the song, I've Got a Lot to Thank My Daddy For. So, folks, you guys have a great Mayberry week. And come back next week, and we'll have even more Mayberry. Here's Leroy. How hard work was daddy's middle name Sun up to dark without complaint He worked to give us all we needed Till his hands were sore And I've got a lot to thank my daddy for I've got a lot to thank my daddy for He showed me how to be a man And a whole lot more That's why I love him so And I've got a lot to thank my daddy for When I was bad or got a little wild He believed in spare the rod and spoil the child He said this is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you But I didn't believe it till I was a daddy too I've got a lot to thank my daddy for He showed me how to be a man and a whole lot more He tanned a hide until I cried but I kept on the right road And I've got a lot to thank my daddy for He also taught me how to pick and grin He taught me about Jesus and living for the Lord And I've got a lot to thank my daddy for I've got a lot to thank my daddy for He showed me how to be a man and a whole lot more And someday when we meet again on that golden shore